This is the solution to question 6, paper 2 of the SQA's Curriculum for Excellence Specimen Higher exam. We're given four points in space. We're told that AB is perpendicular to CD and we're asked to find this unknown x-coordinate of point D. The result we're going to be looking at then, if we are given two perpendicular vectors, let's call them V and W. We know they're perpendicular. So if V is perpendicular to W, the result is we would therefore know that the dot product of these two is zero. That's the result we're going to use. And the converse result is also true that if the dot product is zero, then they're perpendicular. It works both ways. But in particular, for this question, if we know they're perpendicular, then the dot product will be zero. So let's look first of all at the components of the vector AB. And we'll use position vectors. AB is position vector of B minus position vector of A. Position vector of B, how do you get from the origin up to the point 5, negative 1, 2, the point with these coordinates? Well, the journey will have components 5, negative 1, 2. The components of that position vector are exactly the same as the coordinates of the position of that point. So 5, negative 1, 2 minus uh, position vector of point A, 0, 9, 7. So performing that subtraction, x component will be 5 minus 0, 5, negative 1 minus 9 for y, component, and 2 minus 7, that's negative 5 for the z component. Similar type of calculation for c to d, position vector d minus position vector c, components of position vector d are x minus 2, 2, components of position vector c, 4, 1, 3. And that results in com x component x minus 4, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, and 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So there's the components of these two um, vectors. Now, since these two vectors are perpendicular, it means that their dot product will be 0. That means the dot product of these two vectors in component form will be 0. Now dot product you know you can get from multiplying corresponding components and then adding the results. Uh, sorry, that's a positive 5. So, off we go then. 5 times x minus 4 plus negative 10 times negative 3 plus negative 5 times negative 1. Let's tidy up. 5 lots of x minus 20. That's getting rid of the brackets there. Negative 10 times negative 3 is 30. Negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. So we have 5x minus 20 plus 30 is 10 plus 5 is another 15. We subtract 15 from both sides and divide both sides by 5 to get x negative 3. 